Good morning all, it's post bag. So uh, these are all yellow envelopes and they're all a bit strange because they're very flat and kind of wedge shaped. Um, I've got a feeling they might be circuit modules, but uh, let's open the first one and find out. And it's this, that's a number 12 sticker which came off one of those, uh, power supply cables. Right, what is this? Yes, I mean, it's just a piece of cardboard, which is an inner box from something, but I think they're using it to protect um, a module. Ah, okay. This, I believe, is an ESP... Well, it's either an ESP8266 or it's an ESP32. So this looks like it's an ESP8266 mod. Um, we've got AI Thinker on the module here. Now, is that an ESP12 module? Um, other than the module, there's also uh, a CH340 USB to serial converter and a regulator here, 3.3 volt regulator. Two buttons on here, one labelled reset and one labelled flash. Now, if I remember back to when I was playing with ESP8266, which was a long time ago, you had to, I think, press the flash button and then load in... Um, now, I think that was for Node Lua or something like that. I'm quite sketchy about all of this now. Now, on the back, we've got Geek Kite. I presume that's pronounced Geek Kite. Um, this is an ESP12E dev kit V2. And we've got doit.am and a doit logo. All of this is completely uh, unknown to me. I'm going to have to learn all what this stuff means. Now, this module has been very kindly supplied by Banggood. I got in touch with uh, my Banggood rep and said, I quite fancy getting back into ESP8266. Would you uh, be kind enough to send me some modules? And uh, they did. So here's the item on Banggood's website. I'm pretty sure this is the item. Um, it's the Geek Crite Node MCU Lua. I really want that to go away so you can see the photo. Uh, ESP8266, ESP12E, Wi-Fi development board, uh, $5.87, free shipping to the UK and everywhere else, I believe. Um, let's have a little look at stuff below. Um, it's talking about uh, the upgrade to CH340, but I don't know what the upgrade is from, because as I said, I just haven't been following ESP8266 for a long time. Now, I understand that you can uh, program this thing from the Arduino IDE. I'm not sure whether that's uh, in Lua code or what it's in. But uh, I may be using this in a different way. I'm not sure yet. There is a possible alternative to using uh, the Arduino. Yes, I'm also thinking of having a go with this. It's uh, Mongoose OS, an open source operating system for Internet of Things. And it supports uh, ESP8266, but also the ESP32, which I'm hoping is also on its way. It does look very, very simple to use. Admittedly, uh, Mongoose got in touch with me and said, why don't you try it? That's how I was alerted to this. So I do fancy having a go with this. Maybe if I can get two modules, I'll have a go with Mongoose on one and Arduino IDE on the other. But uh, yes, I've got a lot to learn about all this stuff. Right, here's another one. And it does actually say on the other side of this development board. So we might be looking at something similar. Similar. Let's take a look. Right, let's have a close up look at that. Right, this one appears to be another ESP8266 mod, but it's by a completely different vendor. This one is high Siri or something like that. Um, it's different in that it doesn't have the CH340, it has the CP2102, uh, so it's just a different driver, it does the same job. Also has a 3.3 volt regulator, and on the back it's not Geek Crite, it's something entirely different. This one is Amica. Uh, it does say Node MCU, so I'm presuming that Node MCU is already programmed in or flashed into the ESP8266. But yeah, this one's quite different looking, um, but should work in much the same way. So possibly I could run Mongoose on one of these and have another look at uh, Lua or do the thing that uses the Arduino IDE, which I don't know much about. Um, 
on these two boards. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting and I'm going to have to do a lot of reading. Right, this second one, I'm pretty sure, is this. It's a different product ID. Uh, it's the product ID that I asked Banggood for, but this one also uh, has the title Geek Cripe. Now, that's not written on the module anywhere, but it is um, a CP2102 module. So really, from my point of view, it's just another uh, ESP12, it looks like. I think that's the... Uh, the part that's uh, stuck on top of the main module. It's just CP2102 instead of uh, CH340. So this one is $4.37, uh, free shipping also from Banggood. Right, let's get the final one open. And um, it may not be terribly exciting because this is probably another thing that's uh, very, very similar. Let's have a look. The other one I ordered was an ESP32. So is this the ESP32? And uh, yes, this is, well, it looks like it's an ESP32. This says ESP Room 32. Uh, also has a CP2102 USB to serial on it, another 3.3 volt regulator. Let's take a look on the back of this one. Right, this also has the Do It logo. And yes, it is uh, confirmed as an ESP32 dev kit V1. And uh, so the description here is uh, another geek crite ESP32 development board, Wi Fi and Bluetooth. Now, I believe that's the difference with the ESP32. It adds Bluetooth to the mix, uh, ultra low power consumption, dual core ESP32, ESP32S board. Uh, what does it say down here? Um, well, it says 2.4 gigahertz dual mode, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, chips by TSMC. Um, it's, there's also mention of Node Lua, uh, supporting Lua program. So uh, another one, uh, maybe I'll try and run Mongoose on this one. Uh, this one is exactly uh, looks like the one I received with the Do It logo and ESP32 dev kit V1. So really what I've got here is a whole raft of different ESP modules. So yes, an ESP32 and two of the ESP8266s. Now I, I do think that this um, module with the two rows of pins, the breadboard friendly layout was probably the best uh, way to do this. I believe it's called the Node MCU uh, dev board. Whether you program in Lua or whether you program from the Arduino IDE in C, I presume, or C++, or whether you go for this Mongoose OS, um, that's the choice I'm going to have to make. I've got three modules, so maybe I can do all three side by side, but huge amount to learn here. Um, sorry to anyone who's watching this who's not into uh, Internet of Things. This uh, postbag is probably going to be a bit boring for you guys. Um, but yeah, full raft of Internet of Things boards. Just got to do lots of study now. So these three um, Internet of Things boards are today's postbag items. Now, a couple more videos up here if you want to watch more of my stuff. Uh, this icon here is the one to subscribe. And this is the icon for Patreon if you'd like to become a Patreon supporter. Cheerio.